that, it's the Anime Avenger. It is currently about two weeks after Toshokan. Um, I had this video filmed sooner. I filmed it the day after Toshokan. But, uh, <laughs> I guess this part of the video got corrupted, so I had to refilm it. Um, yeah, so you might notice a little change here. Um, I dyed my hair. Um, yeah. Anyway, so, since I didn't really buy anything at the actual con, I decided that I'd just combine the haul video and review video into this. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, Saturday of Toshokan was mostly spent hanging around, and then, um, I filmed some Jean Marco stuff with one of my friends, which will be going up on the channel soon. Um... Yeah, that's that. Um, yeah, I should be putting the Jean and Marco stuff out next week, probably. Um, I believe that's it for now. But I will cut to the video of me buying the, the exciting thing that I bought over the trip. So that video will begin playing right about now. So, what did you buy today? I'm buying a sword. A real one? Yes. And a fake one? Also yes. Alright. So, as you saw in the other video, while I was in Utah for the convention, I bought myself a sword. So this is the training one, which I'll probably end up painting and use as a convention prop. Probably as Dirk. Maybe some other characters. Um, but I also bought this. So there's a little dragon on the edge of the blade. There's a face on the end of the on the end of the handle, which is kind of terrifying and I didn't realize was there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it was pretty funny because originally the one of the people I was with was like, I think they're just selling like the sheath with a handle attached. I don't think it's an actual sword. And then uh, we asked the employee to get it out so we could look at it, and lo and behold, it's a sword. Which is cool. Yeah, so, didn't buy anything at the actual convention, but I bought a sword. That's, that's basically that. So, uh, so I guess now I'll move on to the review part of the part of the video where I basically talk about what I liked and what I didn't like. Um, for a free convention, it's definitely really fun. I would highly recommend going if you're in the area and it's something you can go to. Um, it's really nice having it be teens only because you know these people are within your age group and you don't have to feel as leery about people as you might at a normal convention where there's where there could potentially be some really sketchy adults uh, at if you are a younger child I'm not really in that category anymore but putting that out there for those who are um, it seems like it's really fun there were a whole bunch of panels a wide variety there was everything from supernatural to Mystic Messenger, to Attack on Titan, to Homestuck. So, there's a little bit of everything. Everyone should be able to find a panel that they would enjoy. It being a free convention is very nice. Um, the people were all super nice. I ended up making a whole bunch of friends from a variety of things throughout the weekend. Um, a bunch of people ran over and came and were just talking. And that was fun. That was really cool. It was something that hadn't really happened in a bunch of, at a bunch of other conventions I've gone to. People don't typically just walk over and start conversations, which it's nice. It's a good way to make friends. Um, so that's cool. Um, I did get the chance to meet a couple of you guys, which was really cool. It's, it's something completely different to see you have X amount of subscribers and to see hi it's nice to meet you I'm subscribed to your YouTube channel and it's just it's weird it's shocking in a way 
Um, but it was really nice to meet those of you that I did, and I hope I get to meet more of you in the future. Um, overall, ToshoCon is a very fun convention, especially for it just being a free little convention. Um, uh, as for will I go again, if the, if the dates work with the remainder of my schedule, then yes, I will go again next year. Um, after that, I would not be able to because I'll be too old, um, which is unfortunate, but yes, it'll be fun, or yes, it was fun. Um, I believe that's all I've got, but keep an eye on the channel because pretty soon I'll be having my Attack on Titan thing that I filmed coming out, as well as bloopers for that, so that'll be really fun. Um, Whenever that comes out, I'll put a link in the description here. Um, yeah, that's it for now, so bye guys!